everybody, Patty Spittler is here from Pet Pals TV, and Jennifer Cate is here along with Piper. Piper. Aww, I'm Aww. a softie for that name. That's the name of my cat. Aww. She's got a totally different role than my cat, though. A service dog, a rescue dog, uh, yes. who can definitely pull something off that Patty was it's saying. Just, I saw this. I, I followed Jennifer. We've done stories with her before. Rescue dogs that she uses and trains them for as service dogs for people who right. need who need some help. And what's groundbreaking about this is no. Correct me if I'm wrong. Nobody else in this country is doing this. This dog can alert the person with the problem before they have the seizure. Tell us about that. That's right. So it's actually pretty controversial in the training world. Um, a lot of trainers don't think that we can train dogs to alert to seizures. Just and afterwards, they, Just, they lie on you or mm -hmm. let you know. Okay. Exactly. So what we've proven with a team of uh, French scientists is that there is a smell associated to the seizures. So we can train these guys to detect that smell and do something to let the person know that they're about to have a seizure. And it's really important because that means they can get in a safe place. That's amazing. It is amazing. Well, they can smell so much that we don't, can't even right, exactly. come close to. But to then to train the dog to do something right. when, they may, when they notice that well, smell. Well, and we see the nose thing with diabetes patients as well, mm -hmm. you know, but to, but to have something exactly. like a seizure where, you, you know, you really do need to be in the specific place, especially if you have some warning ahead of time to prepare yourself for safety and others around you, to have wow. a service dog be able to pull that off my goodness what's your process look like as you get some of these dogs in and try to prepare them for this service so we train them with samples that we collect from people with seizures and we teach them to identify a sample from the person in a seizure mm -hmm. and the same person without a seizure okay. so they have to learn to make the difference the between difference. those two and then we teach them a, a poke so they come and they nose poke the person to tell them hey you're, you're, gonna, you're about to have sign. a seizure, exactly. You're going gotta, right you know, your gotta, you have to lie down right now because you're going to have a seizure. Does it take we, we have some video, too, of, of <laughs> yeah, them in training. So we'll just look at this. Oh, look at oh, oh, the sweet doggy. <laughs> yeah. uh, tell us more about it. Oh, there, there she is. And there she goes. Does it take years to teach them to do this? How quickly do they learn it? So it's not, we're not looking in, in terms of years, but it's months. It does okay, take great. several months to do that. So they have to go through. So this is what we call the discrimination process, and mm -hmm. that's the actual footage of the... Um, study that we did that we send over we send over the footage to the French team right and they uh, took they analyzed it and pulled statistics and showed you know and we published it in a peer review wow. um, magazine and we proved that there is a scent so we can train the dogs to do this so at this point are you actually employing these service dogs to do this you have clients who are, are taking up your service dogs or you're not at that level yet no so we've been doing this for years actually okay. so this isn't new for us mm -hmm. it's just that we're telling others that hey this is doable you right. know it's we can spreading do it. at this exactly point. Yeah. Yeah. we had to prove it because it's one one thing to say it yeah. but you or have see to it show once or twice but that's right that's but you have to prove it. Okay, and we, we're going to try a little demo here. Now, this is all the try. lights and everything. But see if, <laughs> if she can pick up the scent over here. All right, here. Piper, let's go. Okay. This Piper. Come on. She's attentive. Piper, check. Check. She's watching the camera now. Yes. So there it. she did it. And holds in there. And she, she holds knows in there. That's that right. That second can. That's nice. <laughs> and now she gets a treat. And she oh, gets a treat. Beautiful. Good girl, Piper. All right. Down. That's great. That's amazing. Isn't oh, that terrific? Good girl. I love it. I love it. <laughs> we'll have more with uh, Jennifer and, and the doggy and all of the things that she does, uh, Medical Mutts. You will be on this morning on Pet Pals TV, 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And we've also got today, uh, oh, some natural, you know, how treats and dog food is always in in a mess and people right, are up and down. <laughs> some very healthy treats that are made right here in Indiana in Carmel and all natural and then we have a pet realtor and we have a pig that paints <laughs> so just to finish it off just to put a nice big bow on the end of it painting pigs I love it Jennifer thank you for coming in good job to Piper and certainly best of luck to you as you continue to share amazing dogs exactly. with people who are certainly in need of them well thank you thank you for having us of course great to have you on all right